fucking kidding me? That soundtrack is amazing. You got the it's touch. Got <laughs> you got the power. Ah. How do you? I was gay the whole time. <laughs> That's the next. No, yes, there's no way it was. There's no way a panda fighting kung fu for a third time <laughs> was any better than the first time. If you want more Rugrats talk and more talking about people's sisters that you don't know, you guys hit that subscribe. I'll let you boy. Yeah, okay. My head was right on the red dot, so I couldn't really see it. Your head is a big red dot. He's a ginger. Is he? I'm a gamer, so I'm hip. I consider him a ginger. You know what I want to do? We didn't time for because he's a music dude too. But I want to do best soundtrack or soundtrack song. So that'd be a good one. We do best use of music. It's Guardians of the Galaxy. I don't know. Legion was pretty on point. Okay. I'm I'm, Le- I'm thinking more Chad Kroger and the dude from Saliva doing the Spider Man theme song for the first. <laughs> And they say that a hero will save us. As much as anyone would say on Nickelback, I to stay here everyone loved that song and that video. Yeah. I forgot that the dude from Saliva was in it until I watched the music video recently. I'm like, oh shit, I forgot that this isn't just a pure Nickelback song. Welcome to this week's Bracket. We're doing Bracket. Brad. Wouldn't it Not be called? Not this one though, because I didn't pick this gay shit. Wouldn't it be called B Red Bracket? No, because it doesn't B-rad. sound like bracket. You fuck. B Red Ick. Tick. Are you having a stroke? <laughs> you sound like my mouth. Do we need to call nine one one? You want a fifteen hundred dollar Uber ride? <laughs> Please don't. I'll just do walk. it. <laughs> what is? Is that English? Nope. <laughs> All right. I gave up already on this. This week we are doing vehicles or cars. Best vehicles. Best something. Tommy said vehicles, fiction and nonfiction. And then he and then he bailed on us. I bailed on the cartoon one. That was a great one. That was a great one. You guys didn't even pick the good cartoons though. No Transformers. No GI Joe. Yeah, Joe might have been on it. Well, listen, I had to hold it down with like the Ninja Turtles and Ghostbusters and like Staples while Tommy picked like crazy critters or the fucking yeah. cattle critters. And I'm just like, what are you doing? We have, there's, there's an expectation that our audience. We only have five choices. <laughs> All right, go. Someone go. David, go. Techno drum. <laughs> I went. Do the techno drum for Red. That's actually a fucking awesome that's, idea. That's your one. Technodrome. That's actually pretty sweet. It it's a goddamn death spear with drills and an eye on the it top. It just kind of lives in, underground because Crank's plans always go to shit. I remember yeah. <laughs> my birthday party at Chuck E. Cheese. I got that and I flipped so much shit. How many the tickets toy? did you need? No, I like I had a. Oh, like somebody had a but Yeah. I never had that. I had all the Ninja Turtles. I still have it at home. I had the fucking turtle van. Fuck it. I don't have. Let's do the turtle van. No, that was my only pick. Okay, sorry. Okay. God! Okay. I know you guys might think I'm sucking Earthworm Jim's non-existent dick, but it's rocket ship. The Earthworm Jim rocket ship. I don't remember what it looks like. So, it's literally just a red... I don't care. It's just a red oval that he that just has a seat, and like the whole back end is like a jet. Right. And he always pulls it out of his pocket, which is cool, because it means it can shrink, and he just rides it, and it's just like a handheld okay, rocket ship. Yeah. Turtle van... That shoots the fucking pizza pies. DeLorean. Yes. From Back to the Future. Clayton, um... I don't know how to spell. Where's my list? Um, okay. I'm gonna run this one by you guys. You might turn this down, which is acceptable, but Yoshi. Technically, he gets rode. He's a vehicle. He gets rode, but he's a living being. <laughs> he's kind That's of... Fine. Is that? I mean, would you count like camel or horse? If you want to do that, I guess you can. You don't have to. I thought you guys would shoot it down, but I thought it'd be a funny thing to throw in there. I don't give a shit. <laughs> you said, Yoshi. Okay. Wow. I you spell that? Y O S. I already did. I'm just kidding. Whose turn? I guess mine. I mean, I can go again if you don't have one. Well, I mean, there's plenty of like okay. very basic ones out there. Because I have. A, I can literally say a letter and add wing to the back of it, and I pretty much nail one. A Star Wars, because yeah. we went over this. It goes A Y. It, it goes. There's a B wing. There's an A wing, a B wing, and then X and Y. They tried a C wing, but it just kept going in circles. And then we were talking about how unpractical, <laughs> how unpractical a fucking ad at would be if we put it on the highway it just and cool. tried to walk, walk it under a bridge. <laughs> Fuck. Let's say when. 
when uh, Rogue One came out, though, everyone was super pumped to see Ad Ads again. Yeah, because well, yeah, there was like a fleet of them and it was cool. on the beach, and it looked like D Day, and then that scene didn't really happen. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, the trailers left a lot. Um, of, the trailers had a lot of cool shit they left out. How about Jabba's floating? Uh, what do they call that? Pleasure barge. The pleasure barge. That's kind of cool. You mean we're fucking uh, Boba Fett, the one that Flies everyone loves, dies like a cartoon character. <laughs> Is it really called the Pleasure Bar? I think so. I don't even. That's know. what we're calling it. Go ahead, Brad. Um, did you guys ever see Dino Riders or have any of those toys? No. It was about. But it sounds cool as shit. From space, <laughs> who went back in time to Earth, and they just armored and gunned the fuck out of dinosaurs. Just any kind so of dinosaur picking, you can imagine. You're picking with strap armor. Armored Yoshi is what you're picking. And he's got gun, laser guns on. Have you ever heard of the show called X Cop? Yeah, it has a uh, Nick Offerman. Yeah, Nick, Nick, Nick Offerman is a voice. Have you ever heard of it? Yeah, it's this amazing comic book that was created from. It was basically two brothers. It was one's like twenty. And it was like five. twenty, and one was five. And he would take the five year old. He would just ramble like cool stories and just like random shit that five year old ramble. And he would illustrate everything everything that the kid would like say. And they made it into a comic book series. So child exploitation. Well, yeah, the- and then. And then fucking Fox picked him as a show, but <clears throat> it's exactly so. X cop is a cop who just fights with an axe, and his he partner is a Transformers Rex with sunglasses on and two Gatling guns for arms. Let's go with <laughs> and uh, like everything. Rick and spaceship you already need one. And everything is. We're not gonna do Dino Riders. I just want okay. to throw. It I think you should, but anyway, Rick and, Rick and Morty's space car. What is it called? I don't know. Oh, it has a name. You know what? It's fucking... It has that awesome AI and that awesome episode. That just starts murdering uh, people. Protect Summer or whatever. Yeah. When they, like, make a vision of the cop's Not kid. Not kill people, so it starts, like, <laughs> paralyzing people. And then, yeah. Or it does that fucking mental torture where it brings up the cop's kid and kills it in front of him. And he's like, we can do this to all your families if you don't yeah. back away. <laughs> um, I want to do Spectre from the Twisted Metro series. You remember Spectre? Mm-hmm. He drove a Corvette, had those fucking homing missiles that could shoot through walls. You didn't go with the obvious clown ice cream? No, truck? I wanted to go with Twister, but I felt like if you were actually in that car, it would make you fucking you run, vomit. <laughs> obviously, Axel is the pick from Twisted Metal. No way. That would fucking suck dick to be <laughs> Axel. Be oh, good so Lord. horrible. And every bullet, you wouldn't be protected by anything. You would be hit straight on with anything. Like, that would... I don't know how he didn't die. Axel is <laughs> clearly like a Mad Max villain vehicle. That is true. Why I haven't feel, we, we, we delved into Mad Max? I have Max. actually Mad Max on my list. The Interceptor? No, I have the Doof Warrior. The Doof Warrior? Car. Co- the Doof Wagon? Wagon. Because even if you take him out of it, you put any band on there, it's still cool to have a band rocking on stage with flame you know, guitars while you drive. And on bungee cords? Yeah, and on bungee cords. Because I like when Mad Max jumps All on. All those cars are awesome. The Giga Horse is yeah. awesome. When fucking Mad Max jumps on and fights him and he hits him and the dude like jumps back with a bunch of cords, it's like, you can't knock me off. Since it is my turn, is the spider from Wild Wild West. Come on, man. All right. I hate that movie. You know it's awesome. Yeah, I thought you were going to say the Spider Mobile from, uh, what's that? Old Man Logan. When him and, uh, oh. when, when fucking Hawkeye and Old Man Logan ride in the Spider Mobile. Go ahead, Brad. Why does Spider Man have a car? Why does Green Arrow have a cave called the Arrow Cave? Does he, is it called the Arrow Cave? <laughs> it's called the Arrow Cave. I mean, we could go with the Batmobile, the Batwing, the Batplane, or the Bat Sub, the Batboat. I have a Batmobile on my list, but it's a certain Batmobile. Is it the Tumbler? No, it's the it's the best one, the Ben Affleck one. The yeah, new one. the new one that climbs walls and shit, dude. The one, oh no, 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 not the one from Justice League. The one from BVS, dude. That thing had a chain link thing that like drug a car around. It, like, was Harper unstoppable. It was fast as fuck. Tumblr was pretty cool, too. It drove... I mean, so Tumblr was it cool. A motorcycle. But thing. if you were to twist in metal, like, the two against each other, Ben Affleck would win. That, that thing's a fucking war machine. Did you put the Doof Wagon on there already? No. It was on my list. Um, I said Doof Warrior Stage Car is what I called it. Because, like, the, it's actually a stage... But it was called the Doof Wagon. Is it? Yeah. I didn't think any of them really had names. The fans just like, named them. No, they they named all of them. Like, would you go through the credits of the man? No, the special features are amazing no. because it shows like. Did you watch the, the black and white effects. version? No, because I didn't. No, but Logan's doing the same thing, and I'm like, I kind of like it in color a lot. It would be fine then. If it did the, um, if, let's if, do the goddamn Death Star. No one's <laughs> done a fucking. All right. Star Wars thing. 
I want to do the Magic School Bus because that shit shrinks. And how cool would that fucking It does everything. Be? It actually does everything. What's weird is I wanted to name the Cat in the Hat vehicle because I watched a ton of the Cat in the Hat because I have a two year old or a three year old and a one year old. No, 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 not the movie. Because you have kids. Not the movie, but the animated show. Uh, Will you stop lying to everyone? Okay. I, that movie's dark as I, fuck, though. I, I have never, I've, I've never seen that. My fire. This is what happens. It's every dark time. as fuck. But, but this I think is what my... happens every time. Yeah. You see your kids down. And you're like, watch this cartoon. They leave the room and you watch and you it. Sit there for hours, having no idea what your children are doing. False. I have to kick them out of the room. I say I'm watching Head in the Head. But his little thingamajigger car is what it's called. It's like the thingamajigger, and it literally does everything. It shrinks. It can blow up. It has like every little accessory you can have on it. So the thingamajigger? I'm not picking it though, because you guys don't know. I'm gonna do. Obviously. Oh shit! I'm gonna do the snow piercer train. And then we snow piercer. The <laughs> whole the, the whole train. America eats a baby. The whole train, because honestly, that thing is so sufficient. You could just be on it forever. The movie started out so good and kind of meandered towards the end. I, I really like liked it all for an independent. I, movie. I loved it. I'm just saying the beginning. That axe was so, battle was bad. Yeah, that was the highlight of the movie. And them the eating uh, bug. Fruit cockroach fruit jello or whatever or rest Christmas treats was fucking disgusting. It had the consistency of like jello it looked like though. I don't even I thought they were fruit bars. We have gross. three more. God damn it. <laughs> um I'm gonna put the Falcon on here. The Falcon Farm. The Millennium the Falcon. Falcon. Oh, okay. Yeah, that thing's pretty shit. I feel like it's like one of the most iconic space vehicles in all of history. I really thought that that joke, the first time you saw that... Oh, no. Fuck that. Um, Just for us. Fucking Farscape. The Levi... Uh, what's Moya? it called? Moya. I've never seen Farscape, but I, I saw an article on Screen Rant that said, like, why Farscape is way better than Guardians, Guardians of the Galaxy. I guess they're comparing I mentioned this yesterday to Dylan's Guardians of the Galaxy. The movies are just a continuation of Farscape in the sense that they are both human, out of water, hanging out with aliens. Well, you know, like, you'll watch... Okay. Just makes you'll watch, like, a sci-fi... That also sounds like a massive... Well, you'll you'll massive watch a sci-fi fight. where, like, a human... Well, no, because they get the jokes. We're like, he calls someone Mary Poppins, and they're like, was Mary Poppins cool? <laughs> like, yeah, he's awesome. <laughs> You know, or like, you know, telling stories, you know, about how John Travolta danced at the, you know, for Saturday Night Fever in the and first the first, yeah. You know, like things like, like that. that. And they're like, you know, we're just telling it as if it was a legend, you know. <laughs> or no, Kevin Bacon, that's who it was. Well, that's the, like, you know, like, it always bothered me in sci-fi because you'll have like a human talking to an alien and they'll use like something like, oh, it's raining cats and dogs outside. Which is just like a human, like, and the alien expression. And the aliens are like, oh, what yeah, I understand what you're saying. Like, no, no, you don't. No, you don't. There's no reason you should understand this. Could you well, imagine? In, in Farscape, it happens all the time where he drops some line. And they where, just look at him like, like he's an idiot. What are you talking about? Could you imagine if I was the only human and a bunch of aliens, how cool they would think pain this were for me? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. what, I think we both agree that one of our favorite scenes of Farscape. They would imagine them as sexy, majestic creatures. They would think Jack Black was the best actor of all time. They, they, no, it's Jason Segel. <laughs> Jason Segel is just the hottest dude of all time. Dude, I watched I Love You Man recently too. Man, that movie's so fucking good. If the guy we have one more. Is it? One more. That's it. Um, can I do my Ford Focus? that's outside your house right now, <laughs> with the dent in the side. Yes, that's fine. <laughs> okay. Or it's going, it's going I was gonna say Rob Zombie's Dragula from the video. David Ford Focus. <laughs> Dude, that and it's going up against the Technodrome in round one. <laughs> if that thing wins... Uh, Technodrome. I, I quit. <laughs> the video. I, Brad I voted finish. for the Technodrome. What do you vote for? Your car? Dude, my car has actually done a lot more than the Technodrome's ever done. Answer me this. What has it ever accomplished? It's always just stayed underground. It's, base. it's never even gotten up above to destroy shit like it's supposed to. It just stays underground because Shredder and Krang are so incompetent. And they entrust even less incompetent people like Bebop and Rag City to do their shit. They always get fucked up. <sighs> yeah, but my car is lasting me like over a decade, though. I'm Just not, say Ford Focus and gonna, then say Technodrome. I'm going to have to go Ford Focus, man. <laughs> and I'm going to vote for the Technodrome. <laughs> God, the say, we're not, not doing this. We're not letting this get I'm out of here. Why, Dylan? It could have been me and your turn to do the crow. Bacon's bread. <laughs> I'm not letting your car win the best vehicle of all time. 
<laughs> David's Ford Focus eliminated <laughs> round one. Damn, the show's rigged. I feel like I'm Hillary Clinton in the election. <laughs> Was Russian interference involved in this? <laughs> you could say that. The DeLorean versus the Magic School Bus. Oh, shit. Both are educational. But one honestly recycles and uses trash. Um, I don't know. I think... That, I think lie. well, they both lie. I think the DeLorean only because I would rather travel through time than shrink. Right. I'm going with the DeLorean as well. I'm going with the DeLorean as well, but the Magic School Bus can do every. It doesn't time travel. I don't think it does. I don't think it time travel. Ever time travel? Wait, episode? does the hot? The oh, that's true. They Wait, do. does the hot redhead teacher come with it? She hot. She I mean, could be for a kid. Teacher. For a teacher, if you're a kid, you know, you're stuck in that. that if you want to date your 65 year old teacher, if you're stuck in this, I don't know. Have you seen any of the pictures of all of those teachers who bang their high school students? They're all like 20 something blonde hot chicks. Yeah, that's true. Um, I don't know. I so mean, that's not even hot for a teacher. That's because the other one. It's because okay. Because the ugly ones don't make the news. Teachers are banging it. That doesn't make the news. It's no. only the weird, ugly teachers, uh-huh. dudes. And when the ugly women bang the news, it doesn't make the news. It's just the hot ones, right? That South Park episode where Ike's banging. Oh, his dude, I like, love the cops. The, the, the cops are like, nice, 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 nice. nice. Um, nice. so <laughs> it's to me, and it's the turtle van versus the snow piercer. The whole train. You, and you have to think about, like, every train has a different... Snow, like, every cart turtle has... Van. Turtle van. It's not even a question. Really? Snowpiercer. Dude. That, that's fine. I'm just saying, yeah. this one, super impactful in my whole life. That's true. Snowpiercer. But the snowpiercer, like, every cart no has piercer. a different thing. Like, doesn't one have, like, a kitchen, one's a sauna, one's a whatever. Like you're saying, based on what you're saying... One's a rave place. Based one's a rave place. Rave. One's a place where you keep all solely, the lower class people who eat bugs. <laughs> Solely based on what you're saying, though. And each other. Like, <laughs> each the Magic other. School Bus should have won last round, not the DeLorean, then, since it does everything. Well... If that's your argument... To be completely honest, I found out that time traveled after like, I voted. <laughs> listen, based yeah. on the logic you're yeah. using for your picks, Superman wins every superhero bracket. Besides Ghost Rider, yeah. No, because he does everything, so he's, he's fine. Fuck. He doesn't melt into a skull. And I'm, sure and I'm sure he can. I'm sure he can. Cyborg Superman did get melted down to a skull and fight. It is true. a metal skull. Is it Henry? Which is way more metal than a flaming skull. Actual, factual mm-hmm. metal. It is true. He's a Terminator. Um, I'm going to have to go Snowpiercer, though, for sure. It's fine. Fuck both of Even you. though the Turtle Van versus the Tetradrum would have been cool. Brad, Pleasure Barrage versus Moya. Moya. Say that again. <laughs> Pleasure Barge. Which is the Java ship versus in so, what's more? Well, out here, let me draw okay. Pleasure Broad, that's Java's floating sex ship. With the Muppet on it. Salacious Scrum. Moya is a giant ship called a Leviathan. It's, it's a, a living ship. Is this from Scarf? Or from Scarf- Scarface. Yes. It's, yes, it's from Scarface. So Scarface. Extended edition. Um The director's cut. The fucking PS2 game. It's it's a living ship. That they essentially cybernetically embed like another living creature to like communicate with it's it called and pilot. It's called the pilot. Pilot looks like but, an octopus man. So you're living inside of it, and it's like a giant ship that can like essentially star jump. And it's like and it gives ship. birth to another ship, and it does give birth to another oh, ship. Oh shit, Mora! That's cool as shit. That they breed with like an army race, so it ends up spinning out a gunship. So, oh, you know what? I forgot to say. Because I think Brad did like eight picks Granted, in a row. When it was going through uh, like was that its pregnancy, hog? it did almost kill everyone inside the ship. You know what I wanted to pick, but I think Brad went like eight times in a row, was the Warthog from Halo. That's pretty fucking sweet. It's a gun. You, you, you got the gun on the back, which always reminded me of Rambo 4, when he just mutilates everybody with the gun torn on the back. That was the most gruesome Turns thing. those guys in the hamburger. Dude. <laughs> is it even hamburger? Or is it just... what's Some chunks of raw meat. It's fucking amazing, though. I love that movie. I love watching that and the scene where the dude just throws the baby in the fire. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Dude, that part's fucking crazy. He rips the baby from the mom's arm and throws it in the fire. And then people have the audacity to bash America for anything. It's like, that could be your life. Be, be happy with what you were born into and quit complaining about politics. What was your favorite part of shoot him up when Paul Giovanni sticks his head out the window <laughs> and tries to run over the baby? He's just so laughing. happy. He's so happy. It's a fucking hysterical so scene. Happy. But and it's so <laughs> and it's so funny to see his disappointment when he's like, "Oh, it was a dummy." <laughs> it like it like ruined his week for sure. 
Rick and Morty Space Ride versus the Millennium Falcon. Oh. So what can besides it, it it can just go into space, no more spaceship. It has that voice activation AI. What is what, what it's are powered by a tiny movie? universe? It does. I love that episode. He's like one or two things are gonna happen. Or, or you know, Morty, to a curvy piece of driftwood. <laughs> either I'm gonna start the engine and it's gonna run, or I'm gonna toss a bag. Your gods are alive. <laughs> um, the Falcon's fucking awesome though, and I love that joke about it being a like a piece of trash in Force Awakens, and it pans over. That's what it is. Um, It's actually, this is actually maybe the only hard one in the whole fucking contest, I feel like. Really? Not the Technodrome in your fucking car? No, that was easy. That's the focus. <laughs> it accomplished more. <laughs> um, I'm going to have to go Falcon, I guess. I actually think I am too. If only because the chess more game it has. Right? It has that cool 3D chess game. Right. That Chewie gets mad if he loses and doesn't threaten to rip off Luke's arms if he loses or something like that. So now we have the most teams. ridiculous matchup in probably the history of all brackets. <laughs> Is that real? Yoshi versus the Death Star. The Death Star? I'm going Death Star, Brad. Death Star. But Yoshi's cool as shit, though, and he's adorable and makes poor Yoshi noises. So are you Yoshi. bringing Yoshi? <laughs> doesn't matter, but yeah. I can't believe you guys let me pick him. I thought you guys were going to shoot that down for sure. I let you pick your Ford Focus, David. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that's an actual vehicle. I feel like... I think it's a mistake to just let him start actually, like, just committing to his decisions, but okay. I had some decent... I think all of them got picked, yeah. right? Spectre from Twisted Metal versus the Duff Wagon. The Doof Wagon. Oh, dude, that's a hard Doof one. Wagon. I love the Doof Wagon, but, like... Because they built that and it worked. But having it was a awesome. but dude, ha, I mean, but for real though, would yeah, you, for real, they built that yeah, and yeah. it worked and if, it, it was awesome. If you if whatever someone came to you and said you can have this doof wagon, giant stage car that's impractical, or an actual Corvette that can shoot homing missiles, does someone drive the wall? doof wagon for me while I get to do all the bullshit? No, because you, you can't play an instrument except for jerk off. I guess you could jerk off, and the speakers would just pick up. I the can noise. jerk off to rhythm. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, you can do whatever you want with it, it's your car. Or you could have a fucking Corvette that shoots homing missiles that can go through walls. You're a hateful person, so I assume you'd want to use that ghost missile on Duke everybody Wagon. in life. Alright, I'm just saying, I think Spectre's being overlooked and how cool he is, but Duke Wagon is pretty fucking sweet. So which one are you picking? Wait, it doesn't matter, you guys both voted I for haven't Duke voted Wagon. yet. Oh, I'm gonna you do... voted first. Dude, I think Spectre... Spectre's Corvette would be way cool. Yeah, we know who he's voting for. I'm voting Spectre too. That's fine. Yeah. I really like that car. Dude, I think you guys are overlooking the fact Don't that he's voting voted with you. All. I know. Yeah, so who's overlooking what? Nothing. Brad, he needs to agree with me or he's a bigot. I'm the internet. <laughs> I'm the internet. <laughs> so now we have Earthworm Jim's ship versus the spider from Wild Wild West. <laughs> this is... The worst category. Dude, guys, would it not be cool to have a pocket rocket ship you could pull out I have a pocket and just rocket. get <laughs> and just get on it and just like it goes so fucking I'm fast. I'm going with the too. spider from Wild Wild West. You guys just pick the Earthworm right. Gym car I'm and going Earth, I'm going Earthworm Gym. Wild, 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 Wild West. I especially hate that they blew up like an an awesome place to film that scene with the spider. And they, yeah. There I was love, a Wild Wild West town. Like, you know the story set, behind built, John Peters wanting that yeah. spider, right? Yeah. I told everybody about that documentary. It was awesome. Did you? Yeah. Fucking knuckle fuck. I love it. That John Peters movie sounds like a fucking wacko, man. He's a crazy he's person. crazy that he's in charge what, of what movies. You, you're picking Earthworm Earth Jim. Jim. Dude, I would want to... God, I wish I could abstain. Because I hate just well, flip high. a coin. Wait, how do you hate a rocket ship that you can pull out of your pocket and just glide around wherever? I didn't pick the spider now just to piss off David. All right. I mean, you can. I did. A spider, I guess. I mean, that spider shoots like green lasers and shit, doesn't it? It does all kinds of, of shit. shit. I, I think that's actually all it does. And it, <laughs> it, it travels at like 20 miles an hour, guys. Yeah, it's pretty fucking slow. Remember that scene where it snuck up on a bunch of people in the middle of the vast <laughs> open desert? I'm surprised you didn't pick... Uh, <laughs> Fuck that movie. <laughs> what is uh, Westman's partner? Not Kevin Spacey. Kevin... Klein. Klein. <laughs> I'm surprised from that movie you didn't pick the superior vehicle than the spider. His little plane thing made out of like sticks and like tarps. Or whatever his bike that had wings or something. 
Because, like, isn't that how they get into the spiders? It crashes into David. it. What's up? Technodrome versus the DeLorean. No. Uh, the DeLorean. Because it moves. <laughs> In the whole series, the Tetradrome stays still, and it keeps getting defeated without going anywhere. It's just the same by four, four second clip of the Tetradrome. By four, by four, link that they use every episode. It keeps, even though it it's actually just it's moves. like a hamster ball, so it's actually just spinning in a circle. It's not actually moving forward. Let me say this: even though that the Tetradrome is piloted by an air by a fucking alien dictator and a fucking samurai master, it. And its co-pilots get defeated nonstop by four turtles and a rat all the time. <laughs> the vehicle's cool. It's just the people who own it. They're dumb <laughs> They're dicks. Because it doesn't have, like, robot arms, too. No. It doesn't do anything. I thought it did. I thought it had It's arms. just covered in guns, and it's got two fucking burrowing things in the front. Like, when you actually look at it, it should not be able to tunnel through anything because no. it has the, like, the drills are this big, and the Technodrome is fucking this sorry. big. It's just like it's you know what's really not cool? Displacing enough material. It's the little vehicles that are the in tunnelers. the Technodrome that go up to Earth. Yeah, the tunnels. I would have voted for that over the Technodrome. <laughs> the Technodrome <laughs> is so cool <laughs> looking. It's got that eye on the top. I'm going with the DeLorean. <laughs> DeLorean. Okay. As long as we're. Did you guys ever play the PC game back when like you had to use DOS to play games when we were kids? Uh, Commander King. No. It was. It had a rip-off technodrome in it for the final villain, and that was pretty funny. I remember as a kid being like, that's the technodrome. I didn't know how copyright worked. I was like, I, this takes place in Ninja Turtles, I guess. Same universe. The same universe. Commander King, a kid with a bike helmet. Okay. Um, Snowpiercer versus Moya. I'm going Moya. Oh, that actually seems kind of cool. Moya. Moya. Vote focus. That was eliminated over I, Yeah, here. I know. It doesn't matter because you guys voted against me already. I want to pick. We didn't vote against you. We voted our picks against everything's against me. (laughs) Moya wins, hands down. To be fair, I don't know anything about that. The the roof description I got that it can somehow like birth other ships because it's alive. That sounds cool. That sounds like that sounds like when the monoliths get into up on it, you just birth yourself. They have like they have like their own religion, and the god of their religion shows up. But see, it's also scary though because it's set. Because it has a mind of its own and they could turn it into you, right? No. It's in Well, yes, but like the bad guys of the series, <laughs> no, they yes. use them as transport ships and they put control collars on them that essentially take away all their ability to function on their own. Why don't we have those in real life? I want one of those. Because we life. haven't gone up there yet. We don't know. Maybe they are. I need Maybe they one. are real. I need one. Or three. Dun, 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 dun. Brad. What? The Millennium Falcon versus the Death Star. Aluminum Falcon. What the fuck is an aluminum Falcon? The Death Star. Dude, the Death Star seems pretty fucking slow. I will say, though, that there's been two Death Stars and one Millennium Falcon. I don't care. I think there's been know. three if you count the planet Death Star. It's true. It's true. And they keep the getting blown up. survived all three It keeps blown, getting blown up by yeah. some peon ship. Some fucking B-wing. Or whatever. Um, yeah, do the Falcon. That thing's badass. I'm going with the Falcon. Even though it's shaped so impractically. I don't know what the fuck the shape's supposed to be. So good w- beats evil. And obviously Brad is the only one who picked evil. Brad also That's wants awesome. Brad also wants Ramsey to take the fucking throne. Wow, <laughs> so how awesome that, that would have been. <laughs> that would have been fucking, that would have made so many people mad. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine the internet when that happened. He just, just he just makes a chair out of Jon Snow's body and sits in it for the rest yeah, of the It's not the, the Iron Throne anymore. It's the everyone else from Game of Thrones throne. I still wish Joffrey was alive, but I talked to you about that earlier. About how I wish Joffrey was still around when those religious nuts took over and see how Joffrey put up with their bullshit. <laughs> he wouldn't have. He, he wouldn't have. It would have been awesome. He would have shrieked like a little girl and had them all executed. It would have done. <laughs> it would have done one of those things that great TV shows can do is, for instance, like everyone flipped on how they hated Jamie. The, and then they loved him. I think if Joffrey I was around... I disagree because I don't think anyone hated the religious sect for a long time. Yeah, I don't know, man. I feel like you could have built him up. I got wigged out as soon as they, they showed up. Yeah, I feel like... like uh-uh. Not, not going like, will come of this. Not more than Joffrey, though. I don't know, man. I feel like if they did their no, bullshit... No, because religion is always more terrifying than just a crazy yeah. fucking spoiled brat. I feel like if Joffrey like, saved the day from the religious people... You would probably say a turn of people would think he, he ain't so bad. No, because absolutely you, not. Because dude, you say that, but you forget about all this crazy shit that fucking Jamie did over time. Like you would nope, forget all the crazy shit. Haven't forgotten any of it. I kind of forget about it. What, what do you do again? Threw a kid out of a window. Yeah, but that kid's a fucking dipshit, and he can control uh, animals. 
What happened to the youngest brother that we just forgot about? He's dead. Is he? Ramsey shot. Oh yeah, that's right. With an arrow. arrow. He yeah, that's right. He didn't zigzag. When fucking idiot. He didn't serpentine. <laughs> What's the uh, pick? Uh, we're on the Spectre. <laughs> Sorry for the Game of Thrones master spoilers, everybody. <laughs> we're on the Spectre from Twisted Metal versus the Spider from Wild Wild West. <laughs> Why is the Spider the bracket? I pick Spider. Spider. <laughs> Doesn't matter, I guess, but the Spectre. <laughs> I just want a Porsche, or I just want a Corvette, guys, all right? Bumblebee's a Corvette. You know, I'm surprised... Is he or is he a Camaro? I'm surprised oh, he's a Camaro. I didn't... I, I, I'm I, surprised we didn't pick any Transformers think, or any cars from the movie Cars. I mean, I almost... Not cars from the movie Cars, but I almost picked some Transformers. You wouldn't want a talking car that had eyes? No, I'd scared. rather have one that can also turn into a, a giant robot mech. What were we talking about? If you were inside of it and it transformed, would you die? What about... I assume so, because yeah. if you look at how Optimus Prime's chest is, it is the the cabin, and you can see the windows, but then there's like just shit behind it, so yeah. Because when the Power Rangers are in their individual resorts, and they go into... Yeah, but those aren't Transformers. Zordon, or whatever it's called. Mega, or Megazord. Megazord. They're fine. I mean, because there's, there's, somehow there's just a scene all in 3 back. where Bumblebee's driving, and then like the car like does a jump, or you know, and it spits out. It transforms and spits them out, and then catches. And then he catches, like, them. sets them down somewhere. Which I think might have been more if physics and shit like that were logical in those movies. That might have hurt him more than. Just well, yeah, in the first one, he falls off a building, and Optimus Prime catches him. He's like, "I got you." It's like, yeah, but he's. Dude, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, now. You gotta cradle you gotta that shit. Cradle. You gotta cradle. Oh, yeah. The worst offense to physics and logic and gravity is the fucking Fast and Furious series. No, that's all real shit. That's Did you all, uh, it was a documentary? Uh, filmed it was a documentary. Documentary. Did you guys see the six one? No. Where I mean, I, I haven't had, seen past. Oh no, shit! I actually like them all. They're four, fun five, for what they are. And four or five. I I imagine that they are. I just Dude, don't care about. They're a ton of fun, but man, there's a scene where Vin Diesel is like they're fighting Luke Evans on a tank on the highway, and like. But Show Rodriguez just launched off and Vin Diesel like wrecks his car into a tank which was flying out of his window or some shit. Can and he catches her me? in midair and like they both don't die and he lands like perfect. I wanna know <laughs> you need to explain to me how a bunch of fucking low life criminal shit. Oh dude, it's ridiculous. Turn into superhero fighters. It's 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 crazy. Only if they got cars. It's crazy. Well, did they get covered in green goo in that, like the fourth one? And is that what happened? Like cause I, I think we both stopped at three, right? Or Tokyo Drift, whatever yeah. Tokyo oh, Drift was. What sucks because four is where it got good again. Four, five, and six, and seven are all awesome. I haven't seen eight yet, but eight I looks cool because one. it shows fucking uh, the Rock punching a fucking torpedo, I think, or like kicking it, like making it change directions. Like it's fucking cool. You're not selling this at all. I don't have to. The movie David, made a billion dollars. It's not that his character has superpowers. It's just that it's the just Rock the Rock has does. superpowers. Well, no, because we're, we're in the most ridiculous Final Four <laughs> ever created. I don't know about that because th that might have been Yoshi versus the Ford Focus. <laughs> the DeLorean versus Moya. I don't know anything. You know what? Honestly, from what you told me, like, how can you not pick Moya? I agree. Well, Moya is not a choice, but Moya, yes, is a good choice. Oh, fuck Moya. Yeah. The Death Star, the Millennium Falcon versus the Spider from Wild Wild West. Falcon. The Spider's not winning. <laughs> the spider, David, it's the, your time to get some revenge. The Spider should not have even a. You, you, you would get revenge on Brad first for just off, picking it over no, all your picks. First off, you guys are such haters in Earthroom Gym. Because. We're not haters. We just don't give that much shit about it the way you do. Well, no, it's it not that. Just haters. So just because we don't enjoy it as much, it doesn't mean we you. hate it. But if you guys were stop to, using internet logic to fucking <laughs> back your arguments, you up. guys are bigots um. against worms in spacesuits. But no, honestly though, if you guys would have thought like logically about like his gun or the ship, you you would have to. You want to change ship. your pick? No. So would you like to send it at least to the final four? It's not going to be Moya or the final two. It's not going to be Moya. No. What is it? The Spider versus what? Millennium Falcon. Oh, the Falcon. Because at least if shit goes down, you can fly away. The spider, you're stuck in whatever mess you're in. Right? The final. Two sci-fi shows. Two sci-fi ships. Farscape, one of the most overlooked, greatest fucking sci-fis ever. I heard Sliders was better. No, I actually hear they're both good. And so is Bash, a better star. Bellstar is good. 
That's more of like a robot. I watched the Ben Browder portion of it. Human. No, that was uh. Yeah. No. He's what, not in. What was the He's in right? um, Doctor Who. No, Ben Browder. Oh, is Stargate. In, uh, Stargate. The last few seasons. Yeah, of I Stargate. forgot about Stargate. What about the Fargate? From Aqua <laughs> That's <a> Totally, completely <laughs> different. Different series. And it just it, Boy, yeah. it just a it can shirt. make other ships and it's alive and it can starburst, which is the same thing as warp speed or whatever. Oh shit! You know what I should have picked? Have no control over it. Yeah, it can just do whatever it wants. Though and you saying that makes me think I should have picked the ship from Titan AE that can create a whole planet. <sighs> the movie's garbage. I, really, I actually thought that was a really cool animated film. So yeah, your pick for soundtrack. the final? Uh, Falcon. It's classic, man. You can't go against the classics. Well, yeah. I'm crowning Moya the greatest ship in history. I have to watch that show. I do hear is is it better than Battleship though? It even creates its own little Battleship. Life. Or sorry, Battlestar. Glad to know. I mean, they're very different because Battlestar has no comedy. No Battlestar crazy is like a Terminator type scenario, yeah. right? Or Matrix, where it's just machine. And cases. the last season of it is I pretty, pretty wonky. Epic. It, it is, but the last season gets pretty stupid. That's. Really fucking disheartening to hear. It's still really good. It's just the last season. I just season couldn't imagine being into very it. Rare. And like, like being really into a show and the last season being really wonky and weird. It is. Was, There's a throw off the So, vibe. our winner of yeah. Vehicle is Moya from Farscape. If you haven't seen it, stop fucking like, Quit watching punishing yourself. And watch Go Farscape. watch it. It's Farscape. I need to watch it's it. It's like Fantastic. Guardians of the Galaxy, but different. Um, the premise is the same. Human hanging out with aliens, they don't get his jokes, they think he's retarded. Even similar premises where, like, he accidentally gets launched way, way out of, like, his solar system. Yeah, he's the only human. And so he's, like, the only human. There is another race that's similar to humans, but... But they're better in every way. Except for they can't stand heat. Yeah. But their their reflexes are better, they live longer... And I'm pretty their sure eyesight's they're, better, their hearing's better. And I'm better. pretty sure it's like pretty much fact that they're descendants of human beings from the future. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's like how that ends up working out. But is it one of those shows that actually has an ending, or did it just like stop? Um, it it got so the final season has the most fucked up ending yeah, ever. It's hilarious. And then it got canceled. Like if you just watch what was on Netflix, you just go, "Oh, that's the fuck. end," because they don't have the made-for-TV movies. Yeah, but then they, they uh, made a, a movie to wrap it all up. And it was actually really good. That's no, so like Firefly, movie. where like the movie yeah. adds so much. The movie actually shows the Ravers for once. Are the Reavers? Ravers? What are they called? Reavers. The Ravers. Those kids on all the <laughs> ecstasy listening to the robot. <laughs> that movie. would be scary as shit, though, man, to come across. Just a bunch of those in the space. Just a bunch of those dudes. And be like, like fucking gotta, Raver clothes. You gotta stay far away from them. <laughs> Look at them. That goddamn dubstep. Switch to kill mode, please. It's Skrillex in space. I can't think of anything worse. I like Skrillex. I like dubstep. He joined from first to last again. <laughs> oh, that's it, guys. Hit the follow. Hit the like. Give us some bracket ideas. We're clearly running out. Now we're going to do sitcoms next time. It's going to be fun, man. It's gonna Cheers. be. It's going to be as cool as we're a... Everybody uh, knows I'm going to interview Brad, so I won't stay tuned for that. You what? I said I'm going to interview Brad, so stay tuned for that. Good luck. I'm done. It's going gonna, inside and sleeping. It's going to be a fucking trial, but... We'll a get, trial? We'll get through you it. You say that, but the interview will probably come up before this episode. <laughs> Who the fuck knows anymore, man? <laughs> this will be the last episode. Please release it after I'm dead. <laughs> Please release it after I'm dead. <laughs> Your shitty decisions. Good night, everybody. <laughs>